I want to stay on the markets and bring in DeRoy Murdoch, National Review online editor. Now, this is a political kind of guy. <laughs> but I'm going to ask you a market kind of question. Guilty, guilty, guilty as charged. No, guilty, guilty <laughs> as you are. You're a politician kind of guy. All right. Look, to see that rally, I mean, that's a gung-ho rally. It's wonderful. Why does Donald Trump, our president, why doesn't he get any credit? And I mean, why isn't the media covering it? Nowhere in the New York Times, <laughs> on the front page at least, is there any mention of what's going on? He doesn't get credit for the good things, which is increasing mm -hmm. 401k values, uh, increasing bonuses, increasing human happiness. When pe people can pay their bills, they're usually happy and not great grumpy and, and, uh, and uh, grumbling. And yet he takes the blame when you had this, uh, this uh, false report of this incoming nuclear uh, missile in Hawaii. And, and you had people saying, well, it's his fault. It's Donald Trump's fault. So he, he, take, he gets blamed for things with which he has no connection and gets no credit for things for which he should take a lot of, for which he deserves a lot of credit. It makes me angry, quite frankly. It should. It makes I mean, me angry, too. I, I come on the show this morning. We start at 9 o'clock Eastern time. We know we're going to hit 26,000 on the Dow. We know it's history. Mm -hmm. And I pick up the papers, even the Financial Times does not mention it on the front page. It's remarkable. And look, they're, they're both palpable and ethereal reasons for this. I mean, palpable ones would be, of course, the tax reduction. Ethereal? What are you, some kind of intellectual here? <laughs> from, time, from time to time, occasionally. Sometimes even in the mornings. Uh, so things like the tax cuts and deregulation, of course. But I think one of the things that really has helped this market is tone. We heard for eight years from Barack Obama, you didn't build that. You're the bad guy. You're one of those uh, wealthy 1%, capitalist, capitalist like you are ruining this place. Donald Trump comes in, and all of a sudden he's saying, we look to you to lead our country. Please build jobs. We're proud of you. Do a great job. And suddenly people don't feel as if their money's uh, uh, on the line or jeopardized. Mm -hmm. They feel more comfortable investing, more, com more comfortable expanding their operations. And, and that improved tone is one of the reasons the economy's booming right now. Real fast, you say that the president, uh, the, the, the Democrats are not the president's friend. Yes. Mm -hmm. But he needs them to get 60 votes in the Senate. He can negotiate with them, but what I think he needs to remember all the time, I, I, I describe them as basically human wiretaps. If there's a Democrat in the room, he better assume that Democrat's going to run out, run out and say anything off-color, unusual, mildly yeah, inappropriate. True. I mean, he has to assume if he sees a Democrat in the room, it's like having a, a C-SPAN or, or Fox News camera in there. <laughs> <laughs> nice touch. DeRoy Murdoch, you're all right. Thanks for joining See us. You. Uh, see you again soon.